Hello and thank you for logging on for this Phoenix 14 News Update. I'm Jasmine Spencer. Here's what's happening Thursday, January 21st. Elon alum Courtney Lotta is back in North Carolina after surviving the Haitian earthquake from country's capital of Port-au-Prince. Lotta graduated from Elon in May 2009 and lived in Haiti up until Tuesday when her home was destroyed by the quake. She works for the Children's Nutrition Project in Haiti and says the best thing students can do to help is to give money. We need money um, and I know, I know as college students and um, and I've been there, that's not an easy thing to give. Um, but, but I also know the Elon community and I know that um, they'll rise to the occasion. And Courtney Lotta said she hopes to return back to her home in Haiti in a few weeks. Former Clinton Press Secretary Dee Dee Myers made her second of two talks at Elon on Tuesday. Myers argued that women should assume more leadership roles in business and politics in her talk entitled, Why Women Should Rule the World. She discussed how women are more concerned with social issues and oppression and said that societies benefit from female leadership. Changes that we've seen in, in developing countries as women become empowered economically and socially. Um, there's just no doubt that countries where women have more power, they are freer and they are fairer and they are more democratic. Um, and societies where women have more power, people are healthier from birth to death. Myers has been named Elon University's sixth Isabella Cannon Distinguished Visiting Professor of Leadership. Get spooked on Friday and learn about the West Dorm ghost, Mary, during the screening of Haunted Oaks. Students created the film as a part of their TV production class with faculty member Max Negan. The film looks into the ghost story, the fire that inspired it, and the paranormal investigation of West Dorm by the Winston-Salem Paranormal Society. The screening is Friday in McEwen Room 11 at 5.30 p.m., followed by a Q&A by the student producers. The award-winning production, The Time of Your Life, begins Thursday night, and we owe it all to the Performing Arts Department. Students can check out the play in the Black Box Thursday, January 21st through Monday, January 25th, weeknights at 7.30 and weekends at 2 p.m. Tickets are $12 for the public and free for students with an Elon ID. Ready, set, go! Wednesday afternoon, students took a running start into Lake Mary Nell for the seventh annual Polar Bear Plunge. Those who dared to jump in received a free t-shirt for participation, and some even walked away with gift cards to local stores. Temperatures in the 50s brought out more than 100 students who were brave enough to bear the plunge. The event was sponsored by the North Carolina Aerial Council and RSA. It's a busy weekend for Elon Athletics, starting as the men's basketball team hosts Sanford in the Nest on Thursday. Saturday, the men and women's tennis teams head to Durham to hopefully serve up some wins. The women will play against North Carolina Central at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., while the men match up off against Duke at 6 p.m. And in basketball, Athletics host Youth Day on Saturday during the men and women's doubleheader. The Lady Phoenix will take on the Eagles of Georgia Southern at 2 p.m., followed by the men who play Chattanooga at 7 p.m. Kids 12 and under get in free, and there will be prizes and inflatables in between the two games. Coming up on Monday, an update on the Haiti relief efforts locally and on Elon's campus. Plus, more from a student athlete who sparked a relief effort across the nation, one dollar at a time. That's all we have for this Thursday update. Be sure to continue logging onto our website for more breaking news updates at www.phoenix14news.wordpress.com. And be sure to tune in to Channel 14 on Monday at 6 p.m. for our live broadcast. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend, Elon.